In this video, we'll be looking at how Root was able to take an account from Iron to Radiant in just 74 hours of playtime. I'm going to break down three of his matches. You will learn how to make smart decisions while being aggressive, how to get Radiant level aim, and lastly, how to win more matches so you can rank up. So watch the entire video, don't be an Iron. In this first clip, Root is Silver 1, playing in a Diamond Lobby. Well, like, <laughs> no, no way. It went from fucking 90 to fucking like 50. And that's like, I don't know, that's just crazy. What? Yo, the enemy omen needs to learn how to throw his paranoia ability properly. Instead of doing what the omen just did, let's stand here and deploy our paranoia ability while sprinting forward toward the wall. This will allow our blind to travel quicker, making it harder to avoid. Also, I say to deploy the paranoia from this spot because your paranoia will travel through the wall, making it almost impossible for the defending jet holding A main to avoid. <laughs> but like, some W2F is right. The attacking jet should not have dashed as far ahead. Not only because the attacking omen doesn't know how to blind his enemies, but due to the attacking jet exposing herself to the entire A bomb site. She can be killed from Haven, Generator, Dice, you name it. If I were the attacking jet and Sage, I would have had my jet dash here, posing as bait. As soon as my attacking jet dashes, I, as Sage, will then swing peeking into A main, killing the defending jet since her focus will be on my attacking jet. I'm just saying, the attacking jet, Omen, and Sage would not have been this bad if they were subscribed. So guys, make sure you hit that sub button so you don't end up like these three stooges. In the second clip, Root is gold 2, playing in a diamond to ascendant lobby. Let's learn. Bye, my ult's ready. Spike uh. down A. Woo! That was smooth. Firstly, if you're playing Raze, Omen, Chamber, or Jet, use high ground to your advantage. If you haven't seen my previous video on Tenz's insane 6k, I highly recommend you watch it after this video. I go more in depth as to why the high ground is good. But to sum it up for you, when you're playing these agents, peek from elevated surfaces, especially in their lower ranks of Diamond and below. Players in these ranks really don't check off angles very well. So this is going to let you get a few early picks, giving your team the advantage. The next thing I want you to notice is how smooth and steady Root's aim is. Obviously, this has taken him a good amount of time to develop this level of aim. This does not mean that you cannot get this within a shorter amount of time. It all depends on how committed you are. It isn't good enough to spam death matches or aim trainer routines such as Kovacs or aim laps. You need to be consciously training so you can transfer the skills into your competitive matches. What I mean by this is when you are training in deathmatch or with aim trainers, you want to actively try landing your shots and get your mechanics down. Don't just zone out listening to music, recognize anything you're doing wrong and actively work towards fixing it. So if you see that you're over flicking your shots, go slower so you can correct this error. You have to commit yourself to this starting slow and then fast for a few weeks. Allow your speed to build up over time and you'll be very close to getting aim like Root. In this third and final clip, which is the best by the way, Root is a mortal 2 playing in a radiant lobby. Wow, this is great. With the first kill onto the defending jet, I want you to notice how Root sprayed, then crouched mid-spray. A lot of us, including me, tend to crouch too early. To prevent this, stick to the rule of thumb. Do not crouch unless you're planning on spraying down an enemy, shooting more than 7 bullets. And only crouch once you have shot up to 5 to 7 bullets. Crouching mid-spray helps bring back control over your recoil. This is why when pros are fighting more than one enemy, they secure the first kill while standing and then continue their spray switching over to the next enemy and crouching to keep their bullet accuracy under control. Also, 
do you remember what I said about high ground? Well, it works in Radiant too. Root smokes the top of default and does a dash updraft combination like it's Mortal Kombat to catch the defending player playing under Heaven off guard. This forced the chamber to fight Root and the attacking Phoenix at once. Great teamwork, Root. As for the next kill onto the Neon, this one was kind of free since the Neon didn't bother to get a classic along with her shorty purchase. If you guys ever want to buy a shorty, please purchase a classic as well. If not, you end up like this Neon, sad and hopeless. With these last two kills that completed Root's ace, focus on how Root didn't overpeak. He peaked A Link just enough to where the omen from the defender's spawn was not able to kill Root. This allowed him to clear A Link safely, then check defender's spawn, killing the omen, then doubling back to A Link, finishing off the Reyna. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how and why Root, who streams every day, was able to take an account from Iron to Radiant in just 74 hours of playtime. Alright guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Watch some of my previous videos if you haven't done so already. And subscribe, because you know you want to. Deuce deuce everyone.